Hello! So, I haven't made a video in a little while, but I have this new thing where I only make a video when I have something interesting to talk about, and sometimes I don't, but I had this really good idea today. I was at the cinema, I went to see Underworld Awakening, it was really good, but I was thinking, you know, in the trailers, what movies am I really looking forward to this year, what do I really want to see, and I thought, that would be a good video, that would be just a good video. So I'm making the video. This is the video. You are watching the video. And I also thought when I went to see Underworld Awakening, oh my god, she's a vampire. Oh my god, she almost died. Oh my god, she had a baby. Oh my god, the kid's got special powers. Oh my god, everybody wants to kill the kid. Oh my god, all the other vampires want the kid dead. Oh my god, this is... Where have I heard this before? <gasps> My little realisation brought me to one conclusion. Hollywood is a big fucking rip-off at the minute. Seriously. So, um, I, um, movies that I can't wait to see this year. The obvious, obviously Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part 2. I want to see how it ends. I want to see, I want to see how it ends, ugh, Buffy geek. Um, I want to see how the fight happens if they do it differently. I want to see what Bella's power looks like. I want to see what Bella looks like. I want to see what the kid looks like. I want to see what everybody looks like. And I want to see the first, last big thing that I've ever really seen. I know that doesn't really make sense, but it does in my head. It's weird. I'm just really excited. Obviously, by like The Hunger Games as well. Big deal for me. It comes out in March, so I don't have very long to wait. None of us do, thank God. I'm going to go to the UK premiere next month and try and meet all the cast, because I want to be able to say that I've met them and be like, hi! Um, and also, I really loved X-Men First Class, so to get to meet Jennifer Lawrence for Mystique as well would just be unreal. So, yeah. And... I only really have Twilight as a basis for comparison for this, but I kind of want to see how they do it. Like with Twilight, they kind of fucked up the first film because it was all... The, the most important scene in the first Twilight film for me was the meadow scene and they didn't do that properly. They fucked it up and they made it all angsty and it wasn't supposed to be as angsty as that. It was supposed to be different. <sighs> Rant averted. But the point is that I want to see how they do Hunger Games and I think that they'll do an amazing job and I can't wait to see it and I think it's going to be epically amazing. Other films I can't wait to see. American Pie, The Reunion. Seriously, they don't make enough good high school movie, feel good, rom-com, crazy funny type films anymore. Like Easy A was good, was brilliant. Because of the thing where she opens the card and sings to it. I got a bucket, got a bucket full of sunshine. Sorry, I'll stop now. Um, <laughs> I really want to see how that happens. Because I saw a trailer for it today. Where it's like Jim and Stifler talking. And it's just funny. It's just good. Go watch it. Go. And I really want to see how it all ends. And how who they've managed to get in it, for starters. Because... Some of the people that were in the original one are probably not going to want to be in the sequel to the sequel to the sequel to the sequel because it's, oh, it's so over now. Maybe they will. Maybe it's like the whole bringing back craze. It's, I don't know how that's going to happen. I'm really curious. And I hope it's going to be good. I hope it's going to... Because people might go and see it that haven't gone to see all the other ones. And I hope it won't be a letdown. And they'll think, oh, this is shit. The rest of them must have been. Because the rest of them were amazing except for all the shitty little after sequels that weren't really American Pie, like Naked Mile and all that shit. Anyway, I'm also really excited for the Avengers. Do you know why? Because it's directed by Joss Whedon. Do you know who Joss Whedon is? He created Buffy and directed it and wrote most of it, which makes him a fucking genius. Joss, dude you rock, thank you, thank you so much, and I will be going to see The Avengers, 
because I liked almost all of those films, except for the Hulk. Never really got into the Hulk. I don't really get the Hulk. I don't understand what the whole big green dude thing is. Doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just like, okay, don't understand that. Um, I want to see Spider-Man. Mostly because I'm not sure if it's a sequel or a prequel or just starting from scratch again. I don't really know. I don't want to find out. I want to just see it and be surprised and just be like, ooh. I don't want to see any of the movies that have been nominated for Golden Globes or Oscars because they're all a big pile of shit. I don't want to see War Horse because I don't like horse movies. I don't want to see The Artist because I like movies with sound. And I don't want to see George Clooney in The Descendants because the advert has been on my TV every five minutes for the last two weeks and I'm getting really sick and tired of it. Because when I'm sitting there trying to play Temple Run on my phone and all I can hear is George Clooney gives the performance of his career. I just want to think, shut the fuck up. Go away. Just go away. And then I change the channel and then I find either friends or scrubs on every channel because that's basically all there is now. Just, okay, rant averted. So yeah, I'm really excited to see all these movies. And I hope that they're all as good as I hope they're going to be, but I don't think they will be. I think some of them will be royally shit, and I don't really focus on the ones that are important because that would be a pain in the backside. And I have to go now, because I have stuff to do. Look. This is a big bag of pink net. See? A bag of pink net. I'm going to use it to make a tutu for a chicken, and I'm going to wear it to a convention. Love you.